I just couldn't help myself. I had to slip down here and take a few photos. You know, one thing I get asked quite a bit is, when you get to an area like this and there's just so many options for photography, what do you concentrate on? Well, here's what I do. When I first get to an area, I have a quick look around and the very first thing that my eye is drawn to, that's what I'm gonna take a photo of. Afterwards, you'll notice your eye will drift around. But the first thing I saw was this rushing white water up there and that's what I wanna get a photo of. How do you do that justice? Well, you wanna blur that water, you wanna show that movement. There's two things you're gonna to need to be able to do that successfully. One, of course, is a tripod. Long shutter speeds, you can't hold those by your hand. Because when you move, you'll move the whole scene and it'll all be blurry. Tripod is absolutely fundamental. And the second thing you need to do is somehow make your shutter speed slower. And the way I've done it with this camera is using a neutral density filter. It's a pretty technical term, but all it means is a dark pair of sunglasses that go over the front of your camera lens. It's really all it is. Now, anyone can use a neutral density filter. Go to your local photo camera shop. They'll have one in there. If you can't screw it on the front, just hold it over the front. It's as simple as that. It doesn't need to be rocket science. And what it'll do is decrease your shutter speed down to a second or three seconds, which is what I'm using down here, and that water will blur. Then you too will have some fantastic memories to take home with you. Now, if you'll excuse me for a second, that's exactly what I'm going to do, because that is too good to pass up.